Hello, my name is Kelly Hood, and I'm a cybersecurity engineer at Optic Cyber Solutions. A CMC has been in development. I've been a registered practitioner in supporting Optic, a registered practitioner organization, for several years now. The program certainly has gone through some changes, but now as we get closer to the rule being finalized, I wanted to create this short video for anyone new to these requirements and talk about what they are and what's actually coming. The concept of the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, or CMMC, was initiated back in 2019 as a response to the need to protect sensitive U.S. defense information from being unintentionally leaked or flat out stolen from our defense industrial base. There have been requirements in place to protect our controlled and classified information, or CUI, since 2017, but due to reports that these requirements were not actually being met, the DOD decided that more needed to be done to establish a trust but verify approach. And that's where CMMC comes into play for our U.S. defense contractors and suppliers. So what is CMMC? It's a program that's currently undergoing rulemaking that will require companies that contract with the U.S. Department of Defense to undergo evaluation and verify that they are in fact meeting the security compliance requirements set out by the DOD. And within this new program, there are three levels and what type of data you process for the government will determine what level you need to meet and what type of evaluation you need to undergo. So let's talk a little bit more about the levels. Level one is the lowest level and is for companies that only need to process federal contract information or FCI, but do not process any controlled and classified information or CUI. At this level, an organization has 15 requirements that they need to meet and only needs to do an annual self-assessment of these requirements. At level two, this is where things get a little more interesting. Level two is for companies that process CUI in addition to FCI, and due to that increase in sensitivity, have to meet 110 requirements. These requirements are based on the NIST SP800-171 controls and should already be in place for companies processing CUI because this has been a DFARS requirement since 2017. However, the change here is the certification process. With the rollout of CMMC, companies seeking level two will now likely need to go through a certification process with an authorized third party to verify that they are in fact meeting the requirements. Now, there is language in the proposed rule that would not require all companies seeking level two to go through that third party assessment. However, it's really not clear on when this would be allowed. And so the general recommendation across the community is that if you process CUI for the DOD, you need to be prepared to undergo certification by a third party organization every three years. And then we have level three the highest level of certification, which adds an additional 24 requirements on top of the 110 at the previous level. Level three, however, is reserved for companies with critical CUI or high value assets. This level will definitely require third party certification and will be conducted by the Defense Industrial Based Cybersecurity Assessment Center or the DIVCAC. It's expected that most companies will only need to reach a level one or two, but for those that do need level three, this definitely raises the bar. So when do we need to be ready? Current guesses and estimates put rulemaking to wrap up in early 2025, making it plausible for contracts to start mandating certification. Here, I've outlined the phased rollout that we expect to see next year. We can see that the government expects to start requiring level one and level two self-assessments as early as March of 2025 and continuing through 2027 for the rollout to be complete. However, this doesn't take into account any requirements your large prime contractors may levy on your suppliers in the meantime. It's expected that once the program is in place, we'll start seeing primes requiring their subs to undergo certification as early as late 2024. The landscape of CMMC has gotten more complex over the last few years, so I also wanted to take a moment to talk about the players and highlight a few key terms. In the CMMC rule, companies with FCI or CUI needing to achieve certification are called Organizations Seeking Certification, OSC, or Organizations Seeking Assessment, OSAs. The third-party assessment companies that perform these evaluations of whether or not you're meeting the requirements are called CMMC third-party assessment organizations, or C3PAOs. And then there are the registered practitioner organizations, or RPOs, which have undergone training and background assessments through the Cyber AB to be able to support OSCs throughout this process as they prepare. As I mentioned, Optic Cyber Solutions is an RPO, and we've worked with many companies over the last few years to prepare for CMMC certification as well as many years before that, partnering with companies to do more comprehensive assessments, leveraging the broader NIST SP853 cybersecurity and privacy control set to help companies get ATOs with the government and become listed on the FedRAMP marketplace. 
So if you're just starting out your CMMC journey and not sure where to start or know that your team doesn't have the time or expertise to get ready for certification, please reach out. Much of our team of cybersecurity experts has been doing this work for decades and would love to help you reach your goals of protecting your sensitive data and achieving certification. We know that cybersecurity isn't everyone's daily job, but we also know that nobody wants to be the weakest link in the chain. I've included several resources on the slide here, as well as the video notes below to help you on your journey to certification. I'd also encourage you to check out our other videos on this channel on the topic of CMMC, and please feel free to reach out with any questions. If you need any help getting started or developing your CMMC cybersecurity capabilities, please let us know and we would love to help you out. I hope this video has been helpful for orienting you to the CMMC program. Thanks for watching. Optic Cyber Solutions strives to help organizations identify and address their blind spots through our assessment, implementation, and advising services. For more information about Optic Cyber Solutions and our services, reach out at info at or check out our website at OpticCyber.com.